Good afternoon to everyone. I am Subhashini from Zoology Department, MMB. So, my presentation, topic of my presentation is immune system, a defensive mechanism of human system. We all know that we have a very well developed system for each and every function. Like for the respiratory system, we have for uh, res to respire or to inhale the air, we are having respiratory system. For circulation of anything, either it is nutrition, either it is the air, we have circulatory system. For digestion, we have digestive system. Similarly, way, what happens if any pathogen is going to enter your body? And for that, we have a very well developed system called as the immune system, which is also considered as the little soldier of our body. Okay. Now, if pathogen is entering into your body, what does this immune system do? These are the immune system, different components of the immune system. They actually are ready with the tools and techniques and they used to say that we are going to kill you. And that is how the system is going to work to make you healthy. Like Rina ma'am said, Okay, to be happy, it is necessary to be healthy. And this system actually that uh, makes you comfortable in being healthy. Now, these are the several uh, forms that can be in the form of pathogen. They are going to enter your body and they may be harmful for your body. And this is the system where skin, mucosal immunity, lysosome, phagocytes, immunoglobulin, cell mediated immunity, complement system, and into interferons at several stages they are going to act against the system and provide provide your immunity now how this is uh, how does this immune system operates this is going to operate at three level suppose primarily if it is if any antigen is entering in our body so hamare paas ek well developed system hai jo ki allow karta hai ki they are not going to enter your body like for example skin is there agar skin hamare body mein covering form karta hai to that is going to protect you in entrance of any of the pathogen that is going to enter your body. Okay? But what if that is going to enter? So this barrier in the form of skin is providing you the primary immunity. Now what happens if that is going to enter in your body like our mouth is open, we are inhaling the air or air ke saath koi pathogen enter kar jaye. So uske liye, if any antigen does get into the body, the immune system tries to detect it and eliminate it before it can reproduce. Means secondary level of uh, immunity will start and there it, uh, the main function is it is going to detect and it is going to eliminate the antigen. But if it does not detect it or eliminate it, then what will happen? Then the third level of immune system will come, in, uh, come into action where if for example I have taken that if any virus is going to enter your body and that is going to reproduce, then what is going to happen? The immune system is going to detect it and it is going to eliminate it at the third level. Similar thing. Like for example, consider that if we are border, we are safe on our border, we are terrorists on our border, we are safe on our how it is going to action. First line of defense, non-specific. It means that there is a barrier for everyone. Like in the form of walls and tar pits. If we make a boundary for the so that is going to be a boundary for each of them. That is not going to be specific. It will be a boundary for everyone. Similarly, second line of defense, that is also going to be non-specific. Agar first line go cross karke koi cheez enter karti hai, to non, second line again non-specific and that too it will be patrolling soldiers. For example, I have considered that agar border sa baat kare, to patrolling soldiers are there, they are uh, actually denoting the second line of defense. And in the body, that is represented by the leukocytes, special type of cells which are going to phagocyte the antigens. Similarly, third line of defense, agar yahan se bhi cross kar hai, second line of defense pe, to third line of defense pe true immune system hota hai, jo ki well trained, agar hum log border ko consider karein, to ally trained units hote hain, aur humare body mein vaisi hi well trained cells hoti hain, jo inka kaam karti hain, and they are recognized as lymphocytes and antibodies in the form of T cells and the B cells. So how this antigen, how our body is recognizing that this particular thing is going to work as an antigen? Ya hamari ye body ka harmful product, ye koi jo jo chiz enter kar rahi that is going to be harmful for our body. And for that, a very specific marker, this antigen is, is are going to are going to have very specific marker in the form of marker proteins. Usi ko identify karke immune response trigger karta hai. Once that is recognized, immune system is going to trigger and accordingly, jo bhi antigen hai, kyunki wo uska specific marker hai, to usi ke according jo hai, humara immune system wo uh, activate hota hai and that particular type of response is going to uh, lead. These are the various type of uh, systems which is developed in our body and 
along with this, these cells. Together, they both work, work to eliminate the pathogen. Uh, this, I will be showing you a small video. Jada minute ka nahi hai. So this is a mosquito which is biting you. Sabke saath hota hai roj. Now when it is biting, it is actually entering some specific chemical in that. Now when this chemical is entered in our body, it is recognized ki koi foreign particle enter kiya hamare body mein. Aur uski against mein kya hota hai? Sabko sabne dekha hoga machhar kaatta hai to ek itching hoti hai aur it swelling occurs over there. Thik hai? So that chemical is going to act as an antigen for our body or for response hota hai, these cells they come into action. Now, this cell along with that organ which I showed you in the previous slide, together is going to cope up with the body system, jo chemical enter kya, uske against mein response generate karega aur usko eliminate karne ka kaam karega. Voice hota hai. A group of cells called as leukocytes, mainly any ka function hota hai. Whenever there, there is any entrance of foreign particle, these leukocytes are recruited at the site. They are circulated throughout the body aur jahan jahan unko milega antigen, wahan wahan wo usko eliminate karne ka kaam karenge. These are circulated in the blood and by circulation they are reaching the site of infection. Jahan pe bhi infection hua hai ya jahan pe bhi koi aapka antigen encounter ho raha hai, wahan pe wo pahunchte hain aur encounter karne ka kaam karte hain. So this and these antigen in the form, they are going to give some chemical signal or signal milte hi cells jo hai wo apna activate ho jate hai site pe jane ke liye. Now once different types of cells are there, leukocytes bhi bohat alag alag tarah ke hote hai depending on the type of antigen they are going to be activated. Okay, now once they are circulating in the blood, activate ho gaya, circulate ho na start kiye, jaise hi site of infection pe jate hai, and they are recognizing okay that antigen is going to come, they are going to engulf it. Okay? Now once it is engulfed, it will send a chemical signal. Ye kai sare mediators ko release karenge and a signal will send ki hum eliminate nahi kar pa rahe, ab aap apne action mein aao. Agar is level pe eliminate ho gaya, then fine. No signal will be given. Agar nahi hota hai, to a signal will be given and T and B cells, they will, they will be activated and they will start their function. They will come in the blood circulation. T cells, they are going to help the B cells. Once B cell is activated, they are going to produce antibody. And once antibody is produced, that antibody gets attached with the antigen. Or uske baad, jab jaise attach hote hain, they are recognized by the eater cells or the killer cells and they used to engulf it. Okay, now coming back to the presentation. An example how the antigen is recognized, I have already told you, this is a B cell, antigen has come, it has recognized, T cell, T cell is helping it, now it is producing plasma cell and memory cell, now this plasma cell and plasma cell is secreting antibodies, these antibodies getting attached with the antigen, this antigen is now taken up by the eater cells or the killer cells and that is how it is being eliminated and the memory cells, they are stored in the body, Jab second time yahi antigen attack karega, to ye sara process nahi chalega. In fact, directly kya hoga wahan pe? Memory cells, they will, come, they, will, they will be activated and this memory cell is going to engulf the para, uh, jo bhi, uh, antigen particle rega ya foreign particle rega, usko engulf kar lega. Ye sara process nahi hoga, hence quick response will be there. Abhi kya hai? Is samay late response is there. Ek baar enter kiya, ye sara phenomena chala, uske baar response mil raha hai. But second time when we, when we are going to encounter the same uh, microorganisms or same antigen, quick response will be there and it will be eliminated within a second. So now this life system is, it is a, immune system is a bridge of a life. There are several factors like maturation, hereditary, sex, adaptation, exercise, immunization and nutrition which are going to be important determinant of this uh, immune system. And apart from that stress, infection and disease like cancer, they are actually impairing your immune system. Stress is a very important factor. Nowadays, all of us are suffering this stress which might be positive or negative stress. In the form of negative, it may be these lists I have given you. And there is a very great correlation between the immune system and the stress. Once the uh, stress is generated in your body, they are going to suppress, uh, stress hormones are replaced, uh, released and they are going to suppress the effectiveness of the white, white blood cells, which is an important constituent of your immune system. So you can 
Lastly, I can say that you can uh, boost up your immune system by different natural products which are available in markets having antioxidants. And apart from that, smiling regularly boosts your immune system and relieves stress with the quotation that smile is a free therapy. You can all smile daily and you can boost up your immune system. That, thank you.